Hello, my name is Nani and welcome to my channel where I share with you my top tips on how to look good, feel good, and smell good from the inside out. In today's video, we're talking all about smelling good. And of course, as you guys can tell, I have some of my favorite rose scented fragrances lined up for you. So I wanna go ahead and share with you guys what these fragrances smell like, how they last and radiate off of your skin, as well as why I would recommend each of these fragrances to you guys as well. If you guys love talking about smelling good, you love talking about fragrances in general, especially if you love rose in fragrances, definitely make sure that you go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. And of course, subscribe to my channel for more. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. Alrighty, so jumping right into it, the first fragrance that I wanna mention to you, which is one of my favorite rose scented fragrances, is this Burberry London For Her. I've mentioned this to you guys many times before on my channel, and I always describe it the same way because that's pretty much what it smells like to me. This is basically a watery rose scent with a green background. So it almost smells like the rose petal with the rose stem. That's pretty much what the scent smells like to me. Someone once mentioned that this to them smelled like stale mint. And to me, it definitely does not smell like stale mint, but I understand what she meant when she said that because it does have that green type of background, which comes kind of like from the stem of the actual rose itself. It definitely gets a little bit sweeter the longer that it lingers on your body. But to me, this is basically just a sweet rose scent with a green background. It smells like a very watery rose fragrance almost like if you think of a garden of roses after they've just recently been watered pretty much that's pretty much what it smells like it's like an opulent rose smell but you do also get the greenness from basically picking a rose from a rose bush something along those lines but this is definitely a very easy to wear casual scent. You can wear this fragrance year round. It definitely does smell very feminine and pretty to me. And it's also one of those scents that I feel like can transition from daytime to nighttime, but it does smell a bit more casual. So therefore I do wear and reserve this more for the daytime. But it's a beautiful, easy to wear everyday rose fragrance, but you do have to enjoy rose and you do just have to enjoy just floral scents in general to probably get a lot of wear out of this fragrance. So again, this is Burberry London for her. The next rose fragrance that I wanna mention is going to be this Oscar de la Renta Bella Rosa. I've mentioned this to you guys many times before in previous videos, but this is also one of my favorite rose fragrances. This one definitely smells a bit more youthful. So I do feel like a lot of age groups will really enjoy this. I feel like honestly, you can be a teenager and you'll probably really enjoy the scent. It's not an overly mature fragrance by any means, um, but it does have a sophistication to it, but it's a very easy to wear, pretty girl type of scent. I, I think of a maxi dress. I just think of floral prints. I don't know what it is, but this is just a very pretty plush pink fragrance to me. This is one that you can wear for date night. This is one that you can wear to any you know type of event. This is also one that will definitely garner you some compliments for sure. And it's also a scent that I feel like is blind buy worthy. To me, the notes that are most prominent are definitely the rose as well as the amber. The longer that it lingers on your body, it does sit pretty closely to the skin. So it isn't one of those fragrances that projects hugely, but I do still feel like it creates this beautiful bubble around you and leaves a beautiful kind of like feminine scent trail behind you as well. The longevity isn't also the best. Um, you're probably gonna get five, six hours of wear um, out of it. And if you're someone that likes for your fragrances to radiate a little bit louder off of your skin, you are going to have to overspray with this scent. But it smells so beautiful and feminine, in my opinion, that I feel like it's definitely worth it. So again, you're going to get more of a rose amber scent with this fragrance, a little bit of a woody and a powdery undertone the powderiness definitely does not overtake this fragrance and it doesn't make it overly mature by any means it doesn't turn it into a vintage fragrance at all it's still a very youthful but yet sophisticated fragrance in my opinion i love this scent so much again that's oscar de la renta bella rosa now the next fragrance i want to mention to you is going to be this miss dior eau de parfum this is the 2017 formulation but if you can get your hands on the 2012 formulation definitely pick it up because it's a lot better in my opinion 
and it's also a little bit more uh, longer lasting but this is still a beautiful classy scent this scent to me definitely just smells like you have your life together it's kind of like the perfect girl next door pretty much i've mentioned this before that this is pretty much one of my favorite signature scents this is one that can be worn year round this is more of a sweet a citrus rose patchouli scent the patchouli is not as prominent but on my skin it does come off a little bit more powdery which i feel like this is a little bit more of a mature version of the oscar de la renta bella rosa they don't smell the same but i feel like the powderiness of this one just makes this scent smell a little bit more important a little bit more significant makes this smell a little bit more just mature elegant and classy as i've mentioned this formulation is not the most long lasting but you are still going to get at least five, six hours of wear before you have to top it off. But it's such a beautiful, sweet scent that I feel like it just is worth it. You can definitely smell the quality in this fragrance, which I absolutely love. It just smells divine. It's a sweet floral fragrance with a bit of a powdery undertone, but it's not overly mature. It's not vintage by any means. It just is very elegant, very classy, and just a very significant and important fragrance. So that's Miss Dior's Eau de Parfum. Now the next scent of course is a cult favorite. Many of you probably already have this in your collection as well. This is Armani C Eau de Parfum. This is probably one of my favorite rose patchouli type of fragrances and it kind of gives me a similar vibe to the Miss Dior fragrance in the sense where it has a very elegant, classy nature to it. This is not one that I wear casually. This is one that I actually make sure to dress up business casual or better and it's just one of those sets that just makes you feel very womanly very beautiful very classy very elegant makes you feel like you have your life together or makes you feel like you just want to work on your life if anything and it's just a beautiful mature classy rose scent this is sophisticated it's confident there's something about this scent as well that gives me a very professional type of vibe. This is again business casual or better in terms of what I look like when I wear this. And it's also one of those scents that can transition to nighttime. So you can wear this on a date or just a night out in general. You can wear this to work. You can wear this for events. You can basically wear this anytime you want to. But this is not one that I typically gravitate towards if I'm wearing something just very casual like jeans and a t-shirt type of thing. I typically try to wear something a little bit more elevated when I do wear this fragrance just because there's an elegance to the scent itself. It's beautiful. It's long lasting with this on my skin I'll get pretty much anywhere between seven to eight hours of wear and of course if you spray it on your clothes you typically get more longevity but it's a beautiful sweet fruity like rose and it has a little bit of a creamy vanilla type of element to it as well with the patchouli in the base it's just a gorgeous scent so again that's Armani C now my next go-to rose patchouli scent is going to be this beauty right here. This is Narciso Rodriguez Fleur Musk. I've mentioned this to you guys many times before. Now if you don't mind patchouli, I feel like you'll definitely enjoy this, but the patchouli is definitely heavy in this fragrance. So if you're not a fan of patchouli, you probably need to steer clear of this one. But this one has, again, rose in it, it has amber, it has some woody notes, it has some musk. It has patchouli, of course. If you know any of the Narciso Rodriguez fragrances, then you know that they're going to have a little bit of a musky base to them. He does musk extremely well, in my opinion. It's definitely kind of more of a rich, musky, sweet, earthy type of fragrance. Um, but you do get the amber because it also gives it a little bit of a sweet honey-like note from the amber. And again, like I mentioned, the rose is beautiful in this scent. The musk is a little bit toned down, but I do get more of a powdery, more pungent patchouli note in this fragrance, but it still is very classy, very elegant. In my opinion, it's definitely wearable. This is also one that I like to wear to like different events and things like that. If you're going to maybe a gathering where you have to be a little bit more dressed up, this is the one that I typically gravitate towards as well. It's just a beautiful, strong, pungent rose patchouli scent and I absolutely love this. So again, that's Narciso Rodriguez Fleur Musk. 
Now the next scent is going to be this beauty right here, which is Swiss Arabian's Shagaf Oud. And this one is one of the newest ones to my collection, but I've had it for a little bit of time now. And I really, really feel like this is such a unique scent. This fragrance has some rose, oud, praline, and I believe it also has some incense notes in it as well. What I will say is that in the opening, I do get a little bit of the rose and the praline. It's not extremely prominent. The longer that it lasts on my skin, it becomes a little bit more prominent. The rose is not a sweet rose in my opinion. It doesn't smell tart or overly mature or anything like that. The praline as well as the rose, I feel like definitely just adds a little bit of a sweetness to the scent, but this is still a very unique fragrance. This isn't like anything else I have in my collection. And I can't wait to see what this will smell like during the fall and winter season. I feel like it'll probably radiate a little bit better off of my skin. So I'm really, really excited to have this in my collection as well. But again, it's a beautiful rose praline oud scent. The oud just adds a little bit of a woody element to the scent, but there is still a very incense prominent uh, smokiness to this fragrance, which I feel like definitely helps for this to be a unisex fragrance for sure. And it's just a beautiful interpretation of a rose oud scent. So again, this is Swiss Arabian Shagap Oud. And last but not least, this is going to be Poison Girl Eau de Parfum by Dior. And this is just a beautiful, just rose scent. This is probably one of my favorite rose nighttime scents. The rose on this, I've mentioned to you guys before, turns into kind of like this sweet jammy rose, which makes it so delectable, very sweet, very feminine. But this scent also has tonka bean in it, which just adds a lot more depth and richness to this fragrance, which makes it perfect for a nighttime out date night if you're trying to seduce on some femme fatale vibes like this is just a beautiful nighttime fragrance in my opinion and the rose is definitely very prominent but i feel like the rose as well as the combination between the vanilla the tonka bean the almond note are just a perfect combination and so i feel like even if you're not someone that likes or enjoys rose you'll probably still really enjoy this fragrance in my opinion this is definitely going to garner you a lot of compliments because it's very sweet very seductive very sexy this is definitely an alluring fragrance and this is absolutely the perfect date night fragrance or just a perfect night out fragrance you'll definitely turn some heads for sure so again that's going to be poison girl by dior and this is the eau de parfum so of course i know that this list was a little bit longer but i've mentioned to you guys many times before that rose is one of my favorite fragrance notes and so i definitely had to share with you some of my ultimate favorites from my personal collection if you guys enjoyed this video make sure that you go ahead and give me a big thumbs up definitely leave me some recommendations down below as well if you have any other rose fragrances that you truly enjoy i would love to know thank you guys so much again for tuning into another video if you guys enjoyed this video make sure that you go ahead and give me a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel for more and make sure that you guys turn on your post notifications just so that you're notified every time i upload a new video thank you guys so much again for tuning in i hope you guys are staying safe god willing i'll see you guys next time bye